Good morning, Gina here from Blackfish Heights, Tasmania. Christmas Eve, Sunday, Sunday morning, it's 9 a.m. I've just come down to the studio and um, started all the machines up and the radio. Uh, beautiful day here, you can see the storm clouds gathering. It's going to be cloudy today and apparently rain tomorrow on Christmas Day. Uh, we're heading off <clears throat> for a seafood luncheon tomorrow. Um, today, our poor Vince is driving all the way to Hobart, um, delivering some cars, last minute um, turnaround for people hiring cars. Um, I'm just heading down to the creek at the moment and um, seeing what I can see. Uh, I saw the platypus floating by just before he duck dived under the bridge yesterday. Um, there's a turbo chook there. I'm trying to find the baby. He must be around. We've had the paw showing. So these turbo chooks, there's three of them, were last season's babies. So they first year mums and oh dear they're hopeless. Um, they started off with five chickens and they've got one left. There he is. Keep keeping my eye on him. The other day I actually saw a hawk or some smaller kind of um, bird of prey pick one away from the parents and that was when we had two left. They started with five and the five were only two weeks ago so this one's not very old uh, so it's very very stressful I'll keep watching making sure he's okay but uh, when I saw the other one picked it was so quick I mean there's nothing just nothing you can do I was sitting in the office and saw it it was from those trees there so we didn't even see him sitting there very stealthy and um, the chicken was up against both chickens there he goes the little one both chickens were up against the garden center and the bird picked his moment oh, so stressful oh look so little so <laughs> could him go i'm hoping he's going to be all right gosh they're so vulnerable. Um, not only birds of prey, but now we've got three kookaburras who've decided they like it around here, which is terrible. Kookaburras in Australia are a protected species, but they're introduced to Tasmania and they're um, decimating populations of small birds, which is what they do. Um, I don't know how they manage in Australia, the mainland. There must be something that um, keeps the kookaburra in check but not in Tasmania right so at the creek it's a bit low again but we should be having rain for the next three days apparently I saw trout in here two or three days ago and there's always this rippling going on and it's sometimes when the balls come up from the sand so I'm thinking it's um, the native lobster which I've never seen but they live under there apparently lots of rippling the water's um, gently gently bubbling through under the bridge look at that rippling guy I'm on my Canon camera again using the video facility. It's a Canon 5GX. Uh, so I've had it a few years. Oh, lots of rippling up there. And if it's the platypus, it'll surface and we'll see something. But um, if nothing's surfacing, it's either 
fish. A fish, <laughs> fish or fish, I reckon. Uh, I think so, if you're seeing. Oh, I better get back to work. I, I come down here so many times a day just to see what I can see. There's often something different, and here we got a little, little wallaby coming. I think they call them patamelons, and I think there is a difference. There he goes, but I don't know what the difference is, except they're smaller, apparently, the patamelons. Although we've got some big ones, so I wonder if it is a wallaby when I see a big one. Look, it's sweet. We've got a lot of babies around. We've had a very abundant spring, um, and my measure of abundance started with the wattles. This whole tree line was bright yellow in flower with wattles all along the creek. And the creek goes for a few acres. And then the bottle brush, I'm full, overgrown with flowers. Just wonderful. The, um, so that was the wattles and the... Um, what did I call them? 